love those guys that really are their character and uh, he's he's excellent he's great he's a great worker as well i think he's kind of underestimated in a lot of ways sometimes with him um so yeah i'm looking forward to to seeing that um and of course the night after we are uh, Halloween is upon us uh, over here. So we've got WrestleForce, a local show in uh, Essex that's happening in Rayleigh. Uh, haven't been to one of their shows for a long time. We were invited down there from them. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and again, with all three of these shows, we're going to be doing our new um, episode, which is just going to come straight after each show, which is going to be called Rated. Myself and Matt will give like a little review, mainly of the experience as a fan, the venue and stuff like that. But uh Matt, was the last time you went to Wrestle Falls? Oh, quite a while ago now. You know, yeah. about a year and a half ago. I mean, right. I, there's, there's been opportunities to go, but it's always on a day when I've got other commitments. So yeah, fair enough. It's difficult. Uh, so for once, it's not on a Sunday. So mm-hmm. you now I can make this one. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, if you get the opportunity, I wouldn't wait around to get your tickets sorted straight away because it does sell out usually at the uh, the Rayleigh venue. Absolutely, so uh, looking forward to that. And then the day after that, another Halloween theme show. Uh, this time from DKW Academy. Uh, of course, we've been there. You would have seen a lot of our videos. If you haven't, go back on them. We've got some great interviews and some actual exclusive matches that we took from there as well. Um, and yeah, very fascinating to see where they go with it this time. It's unusual because they say they didn't. When we had uh, Lucas Jackson on the promoter, he said he wasn't too into the story stuff. But actually, there's quite a lot of stories being told um, through their shows, and I enjoy that because um, to me, it just gives me something more to go back to to want to see stuff. Um, so I like that. I like some of the stories that they're telling. Um, very, very excited to see that again. Um, okay, another time now. We've got to pay the bills here. Turnbuckle TV, people. That's where we're on. If you want to check out all the UK wrestling, what we've just been talking about, if you've had enough of WWE and the network and you're one of these people that were trending this week on the cancel the subscription, well, there's another subscription. This one's for three ninety nine, and you're getting over 30 promotions from the UK. And this stuff... You ain't going to see this anywhere else. Uh, let's put it that way. And this is like, there's some really good, you know, there's some established stuff on there where you're going to see wrestlers from Progress, from NXT UK. Then there's also the really, you know, sort of small beginnings like the Academy shows. But mm. like I said last time, we never got to see John Cena at these, you know, very small indie shows. The most we got to see was OVW. Yeah. Uh, but to be able to see somebody grow as a talent, like from that early on, it's it's quite educational, if anything else. I mean, if you're intrigued to see what it's like, where guys get, you know, um, start off, I think it's really good for that. Yeah. Um, we're on there as well, of course. You can get our stuff. Our stuff is all for free at the moment. You can get all, all our interviews. But the main thing is just look down the list of promotions. I've been surprised with some of the matches that I've been seeing there's even packs on there and stuff like that like really good quality and some of these promotions I've got to say I didn't know there was that many out there 30 different promotions just in this slot um, have you had a chance to check it out at all? yeah uh, yeah. and yeah. Uh, more to that point I mean we're really busy lately because yeah. <laughs> because we want to see these shows yeah, we want exactly. to go to them in person and see them uh, not just because we want to be on here talking about it it's actually from a personal fan point of view that we do this so it's great uh, that there's actually an outlet for that mm-hmm. where you can see it all uh, yeah so that price you can't say fair than that either can you really? no you can't uh, so yeah check it out you can cancel at any time that's the other good thing about it it's not one of these things where you sign up and you're down six months mm. and you're like oh I don't fancy it no you get a chance to to have in fact I think it's a seven day free trial so come on guys like you might even if you didn't want to pay anything just get it watch what you want uh, you might want to you know go on with it or you might not you know but there it is seven days for free you ain't going to get that anywhere else seven days free you don't even get that with WWE WWE sometimes like yeah they'll give you the month but that's only before Wrestlemania's and stuff this Mm -hmm. seven days worth of wrestling and people you probably have never seen and you may just get hooked on a certain product there's some if you're into hardcore stuff there's some really good stuff like (laughs) adult stuff on there Uh, I think if you're fed up with PG you want to get to this place so check that out Turnbuckle TV Um, but you definitely won't be wasting your time there um, and yes, moving on to that, uh, DNA Wrestling, Matt. We are attending one of these promotions that I hadn't heard about until then. Of course, a um, few names already on there. Quite a lot of names, actually. Yeah, uh, gave yeah. us the card. I'm going to have that flashed up now. If you're watching it on YouTube, you're going to be able to see some of those. But 
Um, I'm looking forward to this because it's got a lot of, apparently I've been told really, really good things about it. The promoter's passion behind it. Uh, they sold out really quick for this as well. Uh, and I'm not surprised when I saw some of the talent. Um, I was quite surprised with like the amount of names they get into these shows. Like It's almost like... Has independent wrestling on the UK scene uh, come alive again? In, yeah. You know, in, in a time when it, everyone's thinking it shouldn't because of NXT UK. Yeah, it's, yeah. it is. It's it's uh, it's going through a very good, healthy patch right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, even some of those people, they've got like NXT UK connections as well. Yeah, absolutely. There, so yeah, there's a lot of people yeah. there. Yeah, we're looking forward to that one hundred percent. Uh, okay, we said that I had an announcement uh, at the top of the show. I think it's time we, we say the announcement now. Um, I don't know how Matt's going to feel about this. Even I'm a little bit nervous about this one because we've got none other than Paul Robinson, <laughs> um, the uh, the current um, Proteus champion in Progress Wrestling. Arguably, and I'm, I'm not just making this up because we've got him here, but arguably everybody I was talking to at Progress Wrestling uh, at Chapter 95 all the guys, when I mean, they was ask asked the question, "Who do you think is the most underestimated or the best indie wrestler?" Paul Robinson's name got mentioned the most, mm-hmm. um, and I think he's definitely passionate about what he does. His promo this year that he done, I think, is one of the best I've heard all year, um, quite frankly. But we got him. Not only have we got him, he's coming down to uh, Neon Knights, the venue we do it for. Um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time with him, Matt. Like we're we're kind of nervous because Paul <laughs> Robinson he tells you what he thinks. He's I'm pretty sure he's gonna hold nothing back. Let's put it that way. So we've got to be on our best behaviour. But Matt, to have Paul Robinson, somebody you've also known for yeah. quite a while now on, on the local Essex scene. Um, how seeing how well he's established himself now and how well he's done because he did take a bit of a time out of wrestling for a while and and he's come back, but. You can't. I mean, that guy's effort and talent is. Um, you know, I mean, it's only going to be a matter of time, isn't it, until somebody takes a, a chance with him? Yeah, and uh, when I've seen him at a few smaller venues, and mm-hmm. he was always a standout star. So yeah. it's good to see him now being at the level where he deserves to be yeah. and getting some of the recognition. So that'd be great. Uh, but like you said, <laughs> he's definitely a full-on personality. Yeah. So you won't want to miss that. He's gonna he's gonna have a lot to say. I imagine. Yeah, and that's coming exclusively to us on our YouTube channel. Uh, we can't wait to get that. Now I'm giving you guys the opportunity here for something good. We are going to let you guys um, ask some questions. We're not going to get them all in there, but we're going to take the best ones That's out risky, of it. That's risky, isn't it? It is risky because <laughs> it'll be me that gets lumped or something uh, yeah. if this goes wrong. But I'm prepared to take it, uh, even if I have to wear a crash helmet or something <laughs> through the interview <laughs> before I read the questions <laughs> out and Matt locks himself in the toilet. Uh, we'll do it. We'll get the questions out there. So, um, yeah, please be you know be nice to us. You know us by now. Be nice to us, all right? Um, we'll ask the questions... Hopefully, and we'll we'll, um, he'll, we'll he'll be answered, and we'll still be intact. Yeah, we'll, we'll read your name out to make sure you get. Your... Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> will definitely. So if you've got um, if you know Paul Robinson, which I'm sure you do, if you're living in the UK, you got a question, yeah. um, let us know. We'll uh, we'll try and get that Probably out. Know exactly who um, from. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and that's uh, and you want to email us. It's going to come up here on the screen. But if you're listening to the podcast, that's email at wrestleline.co.uk so it's the word email at wrestleline.co.uk um, you can get all of that in there so uh, Matt just to sum up the episode for this one it's been um, lots of things going forward uh, what are you looking forward to most because we've got a lot of stuff going on this October for yeah. us uh, what, what's your sort of main what are you most anticipating for yourself a theme isn't it like, yeah. we're so busy There's a lately. lot of stuff uh, going on I think it would be Disappointing not to say that I'm I'm uh, I'm looking I'm the, I'm most looking forward to Ring of Honor. I'll yeah, say. yeah. I'll put it out that way. Um, yeah, you're because cool. It's always a good show. Or they always pull out all the stops for that. And uh, yeah, I, I'm interested to see what direction they're taking the company in now. Now that they've uh, lost quite a few of their well-established stars, mm-hmm. I want to see uh, what their new generation has to offer. Absolutely. I, I've got. I'm not just because Matt's saying it, and I everyone thinks I agree. <laughs> but Ring of Honor, also because we're doing press, like mm-hmm. so, it does make it. Um, of course, we're always more busier those days, so it's not like we can always relax. Mm-hmm. However, it's fantastic to get around and, and meet some of those guys and to have that coverage for us is quite a big 
thing because we've been fans of it to suddenly now be doing media is like hang on a minute like we kind of feel like you've <laughs> you've established we've made it you know what I mean like Ring of Honor is no small feat and uh, for us it's, it's a real honour to do that um, it's honour there you see plugging them already uh, with that one um, so <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm looking forward to that the most but I'm also looking forward to this interview as well but I'm very anxious about it I've got to be honest mm. uh, especially after we've just given them carte blanche on some questions there so uh, yeah um, nonetheless excited for those two things um, in particular and uh, we kind of like I think for this year you can go on our website it'll tell us it'll tell you guys where we're at and what shows we go to but we do kind of end at DNA Wrestling which I think mm. happens on the 3rd of November oh, no, no doubt there'll be more coming up but yeah I've got meantime. to say I, I keep saying that every time and something else mm. like, like this week's just come out of nowhere for us at All Star Wrestling so you never know where we are at these places um, I've got a feeling it might not be the end of the year in terms of us going out but certainly yeah. It, it might be I'm not sure but we're we're doing well I mean I think before we started the YouTube channel we certainly wasn't covering as many independent wrestling as we now are so but I'm happy about it because it's uh, it gives us something else to to look at and it's also um, the feedback from the podcast especially is that they're quite intrigued about all these new talents that they've never seen or heard of like it's mm. quite new to them so um, yeah really good um just to finish up actually on one of the last things myself and Matt we were at Brentwood last week NXT UK Uh, we did a a little review of course on our rated show about it but to go in just a little bit more depth what did you make of uh, the NXT UK brand because we haven't seen it since um, the Royal Albert Hall which was the tournament version Mm -hmm. it was a little bit we didn't have half the people that are there now including Volta and stuff like that or Walter as we're supposed to call him now um, what did you make of the show because I know you and I on the on the, without giving too much away here but on our rated show we both sort of a little bit different about the outcome how we felt after the show but yeah. uh, what did you make of it now it's up and running in well, full motion I did enjoy it actually I really enjoyed the show yeah. um, I mean I think turning up to the venue I was a little bit worried about <laughs> the health of NXT UK because <laughs> I was looking around the car park wasn't exactly full no, yeah. um, there was a decent turnout I suppose for the event itself mm-hmm. um, I'm sure they could have sold a few more seats mm, if, yeah, they, yeah. if they wanted to yeah. Um, but yeah a two night event so yeah, you've got to have a commitment to see both nights we only saw the one night mm-hmm. um, so I do feel a little bit bitter about that that there was some people there that I didn't get to see um, but hopefully the, the, the show will come round again sooner or later hopefully uh, give you another opportunity to see these people that I didn't get to see this time around uh, yeah but the matches were of great quali- uh, quality uh, and of course we, we got double dosage of Jordan Devlin didn't yeah, we, we did. <laughs> of course no, he, he's, he's a great uh, up and coming star so yeah there, there was uh, plenty to, to be pleased about but of course uh, you may have been a little bit less impressed than I was. Yeah, I, I think it's just you know what it is is because I think it's where we, I think what's happened is where I've gone to all these shows now. Mm. Um, you sort of without meaning to, you always kind of uh, subconsciously comparing all the time, mm. and I'm thinking like you know. I like a show where it's just like a live show kind of feel where they're just going to give you the wrestling. But when they're ta- taping for TV, it is difficult. And I don't blame them because as talent, it's got to be a nightmare to, for them to go, you've got four and a half minutes to fit all this in and then you've got to get off and we've got to go to the next thing. And it's just boom, boom, boom. You know, like it's one thing after another. And I think for me, it does take me out of the moment a little bit. And then, you know, you've got to keep stop starting in and they'll go, you've got to all stand up and lack happy again we're going to get the cameras around you because it's another episode um, for me it just I don't know I, I, I'm thinking now I, I'm kind of coming out of the TV style shows you know not as much and I'm preferring just live events mm. more than that now but um, there was a good main event they had like a couple of good matches that were uh, really surprised me actually and some of the outcomes as well I was quite surprised about um, so it wasn't like totally terrible um, I would say compared to the Royal Albert show Royal Albert Hall show that we did last year I'd say it was better than that oh yeah yeah <laughs> you know um, and of course our old mate Gibson was there so and he's still as popular as ever isn't he yeah. oh and so, surprisingly as well uh, Rhea Ripley she's Rhea Ripley she got she was got probably the, the biggest pop of the mm. night I would say yeah. um, well over 
um, even down here. So yes, yeah, she she was looks like the star. I tell you that much. I was quite impressed with all the women that we saw. Actually, I thought it was all really good. Like they're getting to know their characters more. Uh, my friend Travis Banks was there as well. Mm. Um, oh, did I, I, we don't know their names, <laughs> but the guys that sat behind us, they were fairly entertaining. Yeah, they were. The night as yeah, well. we had like a, a running commentator behind us, like mm. a live one who uh, made it quite quite funny. Actually, it wasn't one of those guys that was just knocking it all the time. It was coming out with some funny stuff. So. It's, Always helps you through the night, um, I think. And- 